more to come, of course, including this update from Rafia Madzena, who's out and about uh, at the manufacturing in Daba. Rafia, a very warm good morning to you. I mean, what's the very latest you can tell us about uh, what's happening from where you stand and I suppose the objectives that the Indaba aims to achieve? A very good morning to you, Jumelo, and to our viewers as well. It is the 10th edition of the manufacturing in Dubba taking place at the Santa Convention Center, currently actually in the Exhibition Center, one of the more exciting spaces to be over the next three days. You've got a myriad of exhibitors, jewelry designers, menstrual cup producers by women, by the way, and also innovation in big industry. But we've got a jewelry maker here, and Jumelo, you know that a jewelry is a lady's best friend, and I could not 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 stop at a store where jewelry is made by the CEO of Swag Jewels. A very good morning to you and thank you for joining us, uh, Moses Morabane. Tell us a little bit about your jewelry and the support that you get uh, from uh, governmental related stakeholders. Good morning to you, ma'am. Mm, yes, it's most from Swag Jewels in Pretoria. Uh, we're here to showcase most of our work here uh, at Manufacturing in Daba. Uh, I would like to thank TPI for giving us this opportunity, whereby we, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here. So we are here so that we can showcase uh, most of our stuff that we do. Uh, and most of our jewelry that we manufacture here is uh, handmade jewelry. We also have the Perspect range and some fine jewelry, but uh, most of the time we do the customized pieces. Thank you very much, Moses. So that's just one. Follow me, Dumela. I want to take you to another manufacturer that's also doing some innovative stuff um, in big industry. His name is uh, Chris Sheffel, and uh, they are part of Mass Lift Africa. So this is a forklift, and it's not your conventional forklift, Dumelo. This is one uh, that is uh, fully electrical, and Chris Sheppel, who's the expert, will tell us a little bit about it and why it's so important. A very good morning to you, Chris, and thank you for joining us on ENCA. Tell us a little bit about this forklift and how it's so different and innovative in uh, the big manufacturing industry. Oh, yeah, well, for sure. Obviously, um, we are brand Mitsubishi. Um, we're reliability is everything, so... In terms of guys out there looking for something to sort of last and, and work well with the company and have a company to partner up with them, I think Mitsubishi and Massive Africa is um, a great asset for another company to have. Um, we strive mainly on our service excellence, even though our machine is fantastic. Service excellence, that's something we strive ourselves upon. Um, in terms of our machine, on that service excellence side, we like to push the safety with our company. Um, we've got buzzers and three different points in the machine. Because the electric machine is a lot more quiet than a diesel machine. Yeah. So safety is quite important. We've got blue lights on the machine. So the guys sort of know where the machine is at all times. Got the hooters so they can hear where it is. Um, this machine here, on terms of the brilliant side of us with the innovation coming in, we've got simple features like regeneration of energy. So the guys get the maximum longevity out of their machines. You know, when... When you've got an eight-hour shift and the battery hasn't charged to what it needed to be because of, call it, load shedding and things like that out there, our forklift literally regenerates energy. So you get that maximum usage out of the machine during your shifts. Yeah, thank you very much, Chris. A very interesting piece of innovation. And I suppose it's great with diesel costs uh, rising and oh, so sure. that you have businesses that can look towards a machine of this nature. No, exactly. And if you look at how everyone in business is going now, they're sort of pushing onto that solar aspect. Um, so you're basically getting your fuel up front for the machines. So minimizing your costs within your company, going the electric route is definitely the way to go nowadays. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Chris. That is uh, uh, Chris there from uh, Mass Lift Africa joining us this morning to speak about their innovation at the manufacturing in Dama. And like I say, you've got uh, those who manufacture food. I see um, uh, Volvo is also exhibiting here at Dumelo as well. And we'll get to speak to them as well. I'm pretty sure it's got to do with hybrid vehicle models and full-on electrical models uh, because as you've just heard that is the way the world is going uh, but it's a very interesting space to be with we've also got the
The CSIR, which we'll take you to a little bit later, um, they are big on 3D printing and manufacturing, but also in the healthcare space. Uh, we said to speak to them after 1 o'clock this afternoon, Jamila. And that's basically just a, a snapshot of some of the exciting things that are happening in South Africa's manufacturing space. And that's despite a lot of the challenges, including the power cuts and, of course, the service delivery in some municipalities. All right. Well, of course, it looks exciting indeed. I can see some uh, people having a bit of fun there uh, as well at the manufacturing in Dubai. Looking forward to all the insights that you will share with us, Rupio Madzana, because indeed we know that innovation is the way in terms of moving our society. And hopefully South Africa will not play catch up, uh, but also will be com uh, globally competitive when it comes to innovation. and. The